Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in, hope you're having a nice day and uh, welcome to Stuart George's Home Movies. I've got my top 30 black and white movies. Now, I don't own every single film on the planet, I haven't seen every single film on the planet and these are just 30 black and white films out of my collection I think are fantastic, highly recommended. Let's crack on with it and I'm open to recommendations as well. To Kill a Mockingbird, what a film this is, Gregory Peck, 1962, based on the Harper Lee's novel, it's fantastic. If you just read the book and not seen the film, it's phenomenal. Gregory Peck is awesome. Had to be in the list. From 1960, Alfred Hitchcock's masterpiece, if you ask me. Janet Leigh, Anthony Perkins, Vera Miles. What a film. Great score as well in this man. It really is. Psycho. What a film. Great take on the uh, Titanic story here. Yeah. Starring the great Kenneth Moore. A Night to Remember. What a film about the Titanic man. It's just two hours of fantastic film. It really is. It's just fantastic. Stars great Kenneth Moore, Honor Blackman, Michael Goodlife, David McCallum. Just what a film, man. It really is. On this Blu-ray, if you get this one, the rank collection, the picture quality for a black and white film is pin sharp. Trust me. What a film. This film has got so much heart and it's so uplifting. It's phenomenal. I just absolutely love it. So endearing, man. Look at it. Mighty Joe Young. What a film this is. It's from 1949. Yes, the effects aren't the greatest ever. But it's top tier of Ray Harryhausen. It really is. You know what I mean? Even to this day, it still looks phenomenal. People these days probably think it's a bit hokey and stuff. Oh man, I just bloody love it. I do. Really find it fan a fantastic film. Really is one of my favourites, man, of Ray Harryhausen. Mighty Joe Young. Sci-fi classic here. Incredible Shrinking Man from 1957. I just love this film. If you've not seen The Credible Shrinking Man, it's fantastic. And this Arrow really, uh, version looks really nice as well. Directed by uh, sci-fi pioneer Jack Arnold. It came from outer space, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Can't say no more. It's fantastic. H.G. Wells's A Things to Come from 1936. The effects in here are phenomenal. They really are. If you've not seen Things to Come, yeah, it is 1936. And the effects for these, to, like today's standards, you're going to look at this and go, bloody hell. Well... Trust me, for 1936, this is fantastic, man. Great tale as well. H.G. Wells, what a film. Things, shape of things to come. The Day the Earth Caught Fire. From uh, Val Guest. Great film from 1961. Black and white classic. Stars the great Edward Judd. <sighs> Got to get some more films by Edward Judd. I really have. It's fantastic. The Day the Earth Caught Fire. The great Burt Lancaster. John Frankenheimer's war film. The Train. If you've not seen The Train by Burt Lancaster, man, highly recommended. Yeah, the Blu-ray looks fantastic as well. It's from uh, Arrow Academy, this one. It's quite an old one, but it does look really nice. Great war film, man. Great war film. Sci-fi masterpiece from 1951. The Day the Earth Stood Still. Don't get better than this, man. This is a sci-fi masterpiece. It's absolutely phenomenal. It really is. Stars the great Michael Rennie, Patrick, Patricia Neal, Hugh Marlowe, Sam Jeff, Billy Gray... What a film. The remake with the Keanu Reeves, hmm, it's all right, but this one, that's the one to get, man, because it's phenomenal. Had to be some Jimmy Stewart in the list, had to be. Gene Arthur, Frank Capra's, Mr. Smith goes to Washington from 1939. You can't go wrong with James Stewart, man, in anything. Another great actor here, Gary Cooper, the beautiful Grace Kelly, High Noon. What a film this is, man, from 1952. Great Western, man, really is. Cheated a bit here. Schindler's List. Had to be in there, really. It is black and white. Obviously, it's got the girl turning up with the red coat. But it's a phenomenal film. It really is. It's heartbreaking in parts. It's, oh, but it's just a beautiful film. It really is. 1993. It's fantastic. Schindler's List, man. Oh, Night of the Hunter. What a film this was. I only watched this recently. Probably this year or last year. From 1955. It stars the great Shelley Winters. Robert Mitchum in this is so scary and menacing and terrifying and sleazy. It's phenomenal, man. If you've not seen this, Night of the Hunter, it's fantastic. What a film. It really is. It's awesome. Had to be in the list, this one. Another sci-fi horror classic uh, from 1956. The Black and White Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The original. What a film. Absolute fantastic. Had to be in the list, really. Citizen Kane, what a film. What can you say about it? They reckon it's the best film ever made. It's from 1941. I don't know. It's all, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say it's the greatest film ever made for me, but I can see what they're saying, because it's phenomenal, you know what I mean? It's awesome, Wells. Who doesn't know Citizen Kane, man? 
Yep, Jimmy Stewart's back here. Gene Arthur, James Stewart, Lionel Barrymore, uh, Edward Arnold. You can't take it with you. What a film. Uplifting. Great acting. Great film. Frank Capra's 1938, is this one? Yeah, 1938. Can't go wrong. James Stewart, you really can't. Oh, one of my favourite actors here. Great British film, this one. Really is. If you've not checked this out, man, this is phenomenal. I love this one. I really did. Uh, the Fawnal, Fawnal Idol. You know what I mean? Fawnal Idol. It's hard to say, that is. Great film. From, has he got a year here? I know it's a few years old. It's 1948. So, yeah, great film. One of the greatest forgotten masterpieces of post-war British cinema. Ralph Richardson here, sorry. Ralph Richardson here is phenomenal, really is. Fall on Idol. Whoa, what a film. Oh, horror. What a what a film this is, man. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to look at the year. Uh you're probably all shouting at me the year, but I don't know the year of it. It's gotta be sixty is it sixty nine? I'm just guessing the year here. I'm probably way off what there you go anyway. One of the first uh dead movies, Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romeo's classic man you know what i mean can't go wrong 68 ooh, 1768 masterpiece should know that year really night of the living dead great film here with ralph richardson margaret Lewton, jack hawkins based on stage play uh, directed by ralph richardson as well uh what year we got 1952 Ho home at seven home at seven really good film really enjoyed that one can't go wrong with this. An absolute masterpiece. It really is. Who doesn't like the original King Kong from 1933? Uh, Faye Ray. Ray Harryhausen. Creation test footage with commentary by Ray Harryhausen. Oh, it's just... What a film King Kong is, man. The original. Just can't go wrong with it. It's... Oof, absolutely love it. My favourite Universal Monsters movie. I just love this film, man. You know what I mean? It's just phenomenal. It's just... I love everything about it. I love the way it looks. It's got a bit of comedy in it. It's The Bride of Frankenstein. It's absolutely phenomenal. It really is. What a film. The Bride of Frankenstein is my favourite Universal Monsters movie. It's phenomenal. Whoa. David Lynch's masterpiece, if you ask me. I absolutely love it. If I'm wrong, it's 1980. I'm sure it is. If I can remember. Yes, yeah, from 1980. David Lynch's masterpiece. Anthony Hopkins in this. Is phenomenal. Yeah, don't get me wrong. John Hurt's fantastic. You know what I mean? But uh, Anthony Hopkins, man, is just bloody... Where is he? There. Anthony Hopkins, what a part he plays in this, man. And this edition here. Look at that. Just a fant fantastic edition. <sighs> my Studio Canal. The Elephant Man. What a film. One of my favourites, that is. Oof, this is in my one of my favourite films ever. So uplifting. So endearing. Can be heartbreaking in parts, it really is. Terrifying in parts as well, but this is phenomenal, man. This is how you make movies. Fan Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. It's phenomenal. Really is. What year is it? Let me just have a look at the year. I'm not going to get the year. It's too bloody small. Is it 1930 something? Oh. 1947, sorry. It's a Wonderful Life. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's my favourite Christmas film. It really, it's just one of them films, man. If you don't have to watch this at Christmas. Woo. Great film here from Martin Scorsese. Uh, the year is 1980, is it? 1980. The Great Raging Bull. Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci. What a film, man. You know what I mean? Best Picture, Director, Art, Actor, De Niro won. Supporting Actor, Joe Pesci won. Supporting Actress, Marathi. Cinematography, sound, film, editing, it won the lot. Raging Bull's fantastic. Birdman of Alcatraz had to be in there. It's a phenomenal film. Burt Lanker's act acting in this is just phenomenal. It's a great tale of uh, solitary confinement and it's just fantastic, man. You know what I mean? 1962's Birdman of Alcatraz. Just what a film this is as well. From 1951. It's my favourite version of A Christmas Carol. It's the Alice and Sim one. It's from 1951. It has got the colourised version on this. Don't watch that one. Watch the black and white one. It's fantastic. Alice and the Sim is fantastic as Scrooge. Christmas Carol, the best one. Trust me. The Innocence by Jack Clayton. And this is from 1961. Great little horror tale, this one. Oh, yeah, British cinema classic. The Innocence. Oh, what... I Recent watch this is, recent uh, pickup as well, this one. Peter Wingard, Jeanette Blair, 
Margaret Johnson is fantastic in this. Night of the Eagle, just what a film, man, about witchcraft, supernatural. It's got everything, man. Atmosphere, the way it looks, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, love this one. Night of the Eagle, also known as, known as Burn Witch Burn. Great Western here from 1962. Look at the cast, man. James Stewart, John Wayne. Uh, who's it? Well, it's got, it's got uh, oh, da, 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 da. Lee Marvin. I'm trying to think of bloody Lee Marvin. What a film. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Just fantastic, man. Last one now. Bit of comedy. From 1948. Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. My favourite one out of the films that I've seen. I've seen all of them, got to be honest, but... This is one of my favourite ones, it really is. It's so, like, it's got such charm, you know what I mean? It's a bit cheesy, but it's got good charm, man. Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. What a film. There's my 30. Probably loads missing out the uh, classics of 30s, for, uh, 20s and 30s films, but there you go. The only ones I own. 30 are my uh, favourite black and white films that I own in my collection. Got there. Thanks for watching. Cheers for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And, yeah, uh, cheers.